Sometimes when you upload a file to your WordPress media library, you might get a message that looks like this. Sorry, this file type is not permitted for security reasons. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you things to look into, why that might be happening, and multiple ways to fix it. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get started. In the example I used in the intro to throw this error, if you're familiar with Microsoft Word files, it's pretty clear why this happened it's because of the extension. There's no J at the end of a Microsoft Word file. It's just doc or docx is the newer version. Doc, just doc is the old versions. Docx is the newer ones. At least I think that's true. And when you upload files to the media library, it checks the extension to see if those files are allowed. So to fix this, all we have to do is go back to our file and we edit the properties on a Mac. That's command I on Windows, it's right click and then look for the properties link in the context menu that pops up. And we change the file name to what it actually should be, if you know what that is. And we close this, and now I drag and drop this up here, and now it loads up just fine because docx is an allowed file type by default in WordPress. The file types that are allowed by default in WordPress are in the description down below. So check out that list. I'm also gonna show you right now, I'm just gonna open a new post or create a new post and just paste in the file types here. So these are the allowed file types. For images, PNGs, GIFs, JPEGs, JPEG with an E, and ICOs. So if you were to upload WebP, that might not work. Although in the latest versions of WordPress, it does work. So I should upload WebP. So if you have the latest version, which is 5.8 point something, you can upload WebP as well for images. For documents, the allowed file types are PDF, doc, docx, XLS, which is an Excel spreadsheet, XLSX, which is an Excel spreadsheet, then PowerPoint, PPT, PPTX, also PowerPoint, PPS, I don't know what that is, PPSX, but it's clearly the Microsoft thing. If you know what that is and you want to share, just leave it in the comments down below. Dot .odt and psd, which is a Photoshop file. ODT, I don't know. Audio files were allowed WAVs, MP3s, M4As, and OGGs. For video, we're allowed MP4s, M4Vs, MPEGs, MOVs, WMVs, AVIs, OGVs, 3GPs, and 3G2s. I bet you didn't even know half of those were video files, but they are. And you should not be uploading video to WordPress anyway. So these are allowed to be uploaded, but you should be uploading these to a video hosting service like YouTube and then embedding them on your site, or if you wanna keep them private, use something like Vimeo or Wistia, then you can hide them from those services and have them only show up on your site, only on pages where you embed the video because you don't wanna ruin your bandwidth. Having videos right in your site is going to suck up your bandwidth if they're viewed a lot. And that's gonna slow down your site for other visitors who aren't even watching videos. So you wanna use a video hosting service. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. So if the files you wanna upload are within this list, you're good. But chances are because you're watching this video, the files you wanna upload are not within this list. So what can you do? Well, you can upload your files via FTP or via the file manager. So if we go back to our example that we had here, Let's change this back to a docjx or xj. Now you can upload this with FTP or your hosting account file manager. I'm just gonna log into my hosting account and upload from there because that doesn't require extra software. If you have an FTP software on your computer, you already know what it is, you already know how to upload. If you don't, don't worry about the extra steps. I'll just show you how to do it inside your hosting account. So here we are inside SiteGround. Your cPanel might look different than this, but what you're looking for is something called file manager. You can press control F and then search for file manager. If you're in a cPanel that has that giant list of icons with different services in your, in your cPanel account, doing the search will bring that up for you really quickly. Open the file manager and then you go to public underscore HTML. This is where your WordPress site lives. Under WP content and then uploads, this is where all your media library uploads go. So in here, you could create a new folder. Let's make a folder called manual uploads. This would be a folder where we upload things manually. Let's go into here. Let's go to file upload. 
and we find that file. This is the docxj. Let's see if we can confirm that. There it is, docxj. So this can't be uploaded in the media library. Let's try uploading it here. That works just fine. So now we can go to our site URL. We can go to the actual URL where this document lives. So let's go to forward slash WP content uploads, manual uploads, then the file name blank percent 20 document docx docxj. So these folders or subdirectories, these are the actual folders we went through. So we, the website is at this one. So this is the domain name right here, essentially. Then you have WP content slash uploads slash manual uploads and then the file name. So we're just inputting where this file is. And we have a percent 20 in there right here because that is a space. You can't actually add spaces in your address bar up here, but there's a space in the file name. So if you have a space in there, you gotta add a percent 20. So let's hit enter, and now this should download, and there it is, downloaded to our computer right there. So that's one way you can upload files that aren't allowed in the media library. And if you use FTP, it works the exact same way. FTP looks basically like this. You see a bunch of folders and you just upload stuff. So if you know how to use FTP, you could use that instead. And any file uploaded this way is not going to appear in your media library. So if we go back to media library and we refresh, we still have our docx that we uploaded earlier. This one's got a dash in it. WordPress must have added that dash when I uploaded instead of having a space. But either way, we have the docx, not the docxj that we just uploaded. So anything you upload here, just to reiterate, is not going to appear in your media library. What if you want the files in your media library? And what if they're not one of these allowed files here? Then we have to install a plugin. Luckily, there is a plugin for that. Let's zoom out a bit zoomed in like crazy and let's go to plugins and add new and let's look for file upload types this plugin right here with 10,000 active installs this allows you to set other file types to be allowed to be uploaded so let's click on install now if you are on a live site you might want to back up your site first just in case something goes wrong it's pretty rare these days but if something does go wrong it's great to have a backup to restore to i have a tutorial and the card up above and the description down below if you need help with that when you're ready, click on install now, then click on activate. And now under settings, we have a new option called file upload types. Click on that. And on this page, we see a big old list here. These are file types that are built into the plugin where you just check this box right here. If you wanna include or allow .x3d files, check this box, click on save settings, and then that file type would be allowed to be uploaded. We have now an enabled section for this one and available for these ones. And there are a lot. So hopefully the file type you want to upload is listed here. If it is, just do what I just did, check the box, save, and that'll be enabled. If your file type is not included here, you can add custom ones down below. You add a file description, which we can see in the first column here if you need help making a file description. You have to have a MIME type, which you can see in the middle, which is basically a technical description, I think, of the file and what it does. And then we have the extension, which is the dot whatever to be allowed. And the MIME type has to be accurate. You can't have like an exe file and then have the mime type be a text document for example it has to be a correct mime type and there are tools in google to help you figure out what the mime type is if you don't know you can upload the file there and it'll tell you what the mime type is but if you are uploading custom files you probably know what the mime type is i think anyway use the tools you find in google to find the mime type if you don't know what it is and it has to actually match what the file type is and so for this example, we are going to upload a new file type, not our docxj, because I couldn't get that to work because I tried the custom file types and no matter which way I did it, the MIME type just didn't match the file type and I guess it cross-references those or something. Either way, I couldn't get the docxj uploaded into our media library, probably because it's completely fake. It's a non-existent file type. And so we're gonna upload a JavaScript file. JavaScript, which we see here, whole bunch of MIME types for JavaScript. They are not allowed by default in WordPress. And the ending we're gonna upload is a .json file. So first, I'm gonna to go to the media library, I'm gonna refresh, and I'm gonna upload a JSON file. And since it's not allowed, we're getting an error. Here we get the error. 
this file animate-config.json. Sorry, file type not permitted for security reasons, as we predicted. Now I'm going to check this box and click on Save Settings. Come back over here, refresh, and upload that file type again. Bada bing, bada boom, there it is. And now, rather than having to create the link like we did over here by reading the folders, we can now just click on here. We can copy the link directly to our clipboard and share that with whoever needs it, or we can add it to pages in your WordPress site. Next up, check out this playlist right here that's all about WordPress security. If you're serious about WordPress, you gotta be serious about your security. So check out that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.